right, man. If Giraffa gets reversed, I'm changing my name to Savage Reverse General Giraffa, and I will make a Link Joker deck. And then I also, like, tag Star Vader Chaos Breaker Dragon in it. This was literally on, like, May 23rd. So this was, like, a few weeks ago. And guess what happened yesterday? Uh, let me scroll up. Yeah, we got we got uh we got reverse giraffe like right here in the flesh. So you already know, man. Let's go. What up, y'all? Mr. Zoo Nation, aka Savage Armor General Giraffe. Well, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. It's no longer Savage Armor General Giraffe. It is now. Savage armor Sovin or a giraffe or reverse. You were that's right. What uh we we over here talking about the new giraffe car or a giraffe. Let's do this. I cannot wait to talk about this car. Yo, this is basically what the car does right here. Auto Vanguard Circle once per turn. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, calls Counter Blast 1. Your opponent chooses one or more cards from their hand and calls them to Rear Guard Circle at rest. Your opponent's cards' auto abilities do not activate from this call. If the number of cards from your opponent is uh, called is less than or the number of grade 3 cards with Giraffa in their card names in your soul costs lock a rear guard and stand his unit. It also has a second ability during your turn on Vanguard Circle. When your opponent's rear guard is placed, lock a rear guard and all of your front row units get power 15k to the end of the turn. Alright, first off, the fact that they actually made Giraffa reverse unit fucking fire fucking fire that's just all i gotta say it is hella fire i'm glad that they made my favorite unit for mega colony a reverse unit because i was kind of scared i was like you know they might actually go with you know uh they might go with spark hercules because you know machine hasn't got none in a while but i'm glad they actually decided to go with giraffe i also have a slight problem with this card too all right so here's my thing first off this card is actually hella good. I like how this card works. I, I feel like that this is a very good finishing unit. I definitely feel like that this unit works pretty perfectly in premium format. The problem is V Premium. You want to know why? Because of its main effect of um, having a number of grade 3 cards with Giraffa in their card name. So, first off, there's a couple of problems with this. The first one is that when you look at it from a V premium standpoint, there are only two cards with Giraffa with grade threes in their name. It's basically Evil Armor General Giraffa and Evil Armor Sovian Ur Giraffa. Ur Giraffa. You know, we basically have only those two grade threes with Giraffa in their card names, whereas the original one basically what was it it was like basically giraffe with like different name with different card names if i remember correctly i mean when you put it from that particular perspective you know um it kind of makes it pretty difficult to you know try to get like as many grade threes in the soul as possible yeah it is yeah, the original one was 500 plus for each card with giraffe and this in his card name with different, you know, with different card names in your soul. You know, I would have rather Ur Giraffe had a, 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 you know, his ability similar to that. Or at least probably cheese it a little bit more by saying grade three cards with different names or multiple grade three cards, which is understandable. But here is another issue that I have with V Premium version of Giraffa. Um, in order to do this correctly, you have to constantly ride, which let's be real, we're only gonna be able to get one ride per turn. We're, we're not like that privileged yet. And then at the same time, you also have to remember that there are hardly any cards that exist in, premium, in V Premium that allows us to put cards into the soul manually. 
for a prime example, when you look at like let's say regular premium format, you have the original machining armor beetle that can put stuff into the soul. You have uh, Megalar Lancer that can put stuff into the soul. You have uh, you have the new stride that can't that's coming out, the Venom stride that allows us to put stuff into the soul. Um, and you also have like what you have butterfly officer which let's be real you're going to start seeing more butterfly officer plays in the game that actually put stuff in the soul and then like i think there's like another oh if you kind you have to cheese this really hard but there's also the grade 2 machining card i can't remember what the name is at the moment that you can also put something to the soul but the thing is, in order for that card to really work, you have to actually search for a machining card and add it to hand, which you're not really going to have any room in the deck to do so. Otherwise, that would be a very cheesy way to put stuff into the soul. Um, my issue with all of this is that at least in premium format, you have multiple ways to put stuff into the soul manually so that you're able to put multiple grade threes with Giraffa in their card name in order, you know, to use this unit in general. But look at the things that we have for V Premium. We have just Megalar Lancer and we have, um, what is it? And we also have Butterfly Officer. Those are the only two units. Oh, wait, there's also Venom Stinger, but there's literally no point of using Venom Stinger because Venom Stinger is a Vanguard only skill. So, yeah, you have about three units that can actually put stuff into the soul that the machining unit included. Let's also add that. But two of them are completely useless because you have to do specific conditions in order for you to use it. And then you also have um, Butterfly Officer. Which, while it is a good choice to do so, you also got to remember that Butterfly Officer's effect don't happen until the end phase. Which means you won't be able to get another grade 3 into the soul until, like, you're, like, you know, you have to basically waste your whole grade 3 turn. Your first grade 3 turn trying to get all this into the soul. And then you also have, of course, Megalar Lancer, which, of course, you have to sacrifice, you know, units. I'm not units, but you have to sacrifice columns in order to use Megalar Lancer perfectly, which, again, kind of gets kind of gets screwed over because why? You still have to, um, you still are only going to get all of this off during your second grade three turn which of course it's the same process for premium format but you can actually do everything in a faster and timely manner that's the only difference again one of the major reasons why premium is better than v premium but that's besides the point the point is that this card is actually pretty good but the setbacks are the thing that's fucking over this card but let's also look at the other two new cards that we got. That was both um, Mega Colony Balor S and Mega Colony Balor M. If there's anything that both of these cards have in common is that they both soul charge whenever you meet the conditions, which is usually during like in some time during battle phase. My thing is this. So you mean to tell me that if I was to play... Ura Giraffa in, pre in V Premium, right? My only choices is Mega Colony Balor S, Mega Colony Balor M, that is not guaranteed because it's a random soul charge. And then you also have um you have Butterfly Officer that only activate that only puts it into the soul at the end phase. And then you also have Megalar Lancer that, again, you have to sacrifice a whole column just for you to use his ability. And you have to attack with the other Giraffe first, and he only puts in one per soul. Whereas in premium format, I can actually put at least three Giraffes before the end of the turn into the soul. I mean, I can use... 
the uh, I can use the stride effect twice and then I can also use um, armor beetle which is another thing and then I also have trigo that is this that allows me to actually search cards I mean that allows me to search giraffe cards pretty easily so with all that being said, you already know that Ur Giraffa is definitely going to be worth it in premium format more than V Premium, which you literally only have two dedicated targets and two random targets, not counting Venom Stinger and not counting the machine unit. But outside of that, what makes this unit even better is the fact that you don't have to lock anything in the front row and that the lock units are manageable. Why? Because you have stuff like, again, Butterfly Officer and um, High Class Moth that rest themselves. So what you can do is basically use their ability to rest themselves and then use um, Ur Giraffe skill to lock them which is actually pretty good. You can do the exact same thing in both formats. And then you also have the V-Series Machining Armor Beetle that force rests something itself in order for you to lock that resting unit as well. So when you look, so like all in general, you know, um, this card is very good. I like this card. It, um, it can actually make columns because it gives everything 15k. Also notice that this is not a once per turn effect. You can use as many times as possible. It has the possibility of restanding. It puts a lot of pressure onto your opponent. It works very well with the original Giraffa. But now there are a couple of questions. The first question is this. Are we going to get Sand Giraffa in um, V Premium within the next clan collection? It doesn't have to be based around Sand Giraffa. It can be basically more machining support or more cradle marker support or more mill support or even something that can help Venom Singer a lot. But I'm curious if they're actually going to put Sand Giraffa into the thing as at least like one slot. Because I would not be surprised if they actually did that. We have had multiple clans in the, uh, in like the past few clan collection sets as well as this one that has got multiple grade threes. AKA looking at, let's say, uh, Nova Grappler for a prime example. They got a Shur Kaiser. They got the uh, they got the other dude, and then they have Extreme, you know, Ethnix Buster, you know. So they got like three Cosmo Lord. That's what it was. So they got Cosmo Lord. They got War Deity and Shur Kaiser, and he also got Extreme um, Ethnix Buster. And then they're also reprinting the original Shur Kaiser, and they're also reprinting the original Ethnix Buster into that set and all of those cards are grade threes so i wouldn't be surprised at the next clan collection set we actually get two grade threes one of them being sand giraffe but it's not being the main support the second one is normally when bushy road does their reprints they normally do like let's say uh when they, whenever they do their reprints, usually the reprint cards are either two particular slots. They're either something that helps with the new support, or they're cards that got fluctuated in price, but at the same time, um, you know, they need to reprint it because, you know, it's a card that's in demand. And obviously, people are, you know, want to use the card and whatnot, so of course they're going to reprint it. They have a reprint of of water um of water game, and while the other reprints make sense, like for a prime example, we got scissors that's definitely being used in a lot of Mega Colony decks. We got high class moth that went to, that jumped to eight dollars pretty quickly, and because you know now Mega Colony is meta right now, and then we also have but we also are getting like um water game that's also getting a reprint and i'm just wondering like why water game like what does he contribute to all this and 
I haven't really seen anybody use water gain since Gridora came out. Like, no, well, not actually before Gridora came out. Because, like, remember, like, there was, like, that one particular combo where you use, uh, what was it? It was Stag Beetle. It was, what was it? You use Stag Beetle. You call out Water Gain. You call out, um, what was it? Yeah, you, you use Stag, you, you use Stag Beetle. You call out Water Gain. You call out Hell Demise. Hell Demise will restand Water Gain. Use Water Gain skill to put itself back into the cell with a Counter Blast to draw two cards. Which nobody really uses that combo anymore because the combo is very outdated. So I'm actually curious on Bushy Rose's part why did they reprint Water Gain? Is it that we're actually running out of cards to reprint because we pretty much reprinted? all the important pieces for Mega Colony. Because let's be real, prior to Mega Colony actually being meta, Mega Colony didn't really do too much at all. So that's why I'm actually curious on why they decided to do that. But I guess that's for another video. Maybe I'll actually make like a dark device video based on it or something like that. But for now, um, I'm just super excited and happy that they actually did Giraffa. Um, Comment below what you guys think about the card and everything else like that. But for now, my name is um, Savage Armor Selvian or a Giraffe Reverse. <laughs> so I need to I need to come up with like a name that's like a lot shorter than that. But like I guess like Savage or uh, Savage Armor uh, or a Giraffe. I guess I don't know. Like I'll th I'll think of something. I'll think of something. But for now, my name is Mr. Zoo Nation. Uh, I'm signing out.